Hello, and welcome to Paul's Midweek Blast. So, Midweek Blast, well, it's Wednesday, the 20th of January, 2016. I've just got home from work, had a cup of tea and a bit of a natter with Lynn, because Lynn comes home on a Wednesday, uh, doing her PPA time for school or for nursery. And I just said to her, I says, I just feel like a, a blast on the bike because she's been stood there since the 28th of December and um, doesn't do any bike any good just to stand there. I mean, she's been on the Optimate, keeping the battery um, sort of tip-top condition, but uh, always concerned about fuel in the uh, in the jets in the system and uh, as I say and it, it just well why stay in on a nice day like that so I thought right <clears throat> uh, I'm not gonna go far because daylight hours you've only still got you know it's going dark at um, you know before five o'clock it is now um, probably around about 20 past two so and traffic's gonna get busy you know when schools are coming out and people are going home from work and what have you so not not good to get tied up with that lot so i thought right where can i go well it's very boring <laughs> um motorways and i'll go up the m6 and come off at uh, as it turned out fortin services i just had a, a little break and um took a photograph of the iconic tower at Fortin Services and uh, plugged my heated jacket liner in yes yes I've got a heated uh, heated seats on this bike the K1600 GTLE I've got a heated uh, Gerbing heated jacket liner and I've got heated grips so I'm as warm as toast just my feet were a bit cold but um, I won't be getting heated socks. No, that's 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 pushing it really. Um, and then came off, went back on the M6, going north, and then came off uh, or left. That sounds better. Junction 33, which is Lancaster South, and then just came back down the southbound carriageway and uh, back home. So a total of about around about 62 miles. So just just a nice blast really. So as I say, we're just joining the, uh, or I'm just joining the M6 here, or Shuttleworth Way as I call it, and uh, just at um, junction 29. This is, or 30. I don't know what that is really, because the next one's 31, so it must be 30. So, just going towards Preston at this stage, and uh, we'll be crossing the River Ribble any time. It's a beautiful day. The sun is right behind me now, so that's perfect. And, uh, yeah, it's getting quite, quite busy. The M6 motorway is an extremely busy motorway. Um, worn out absolutely worn out especially uh, coming down from junction 31a or thir no 32 brought in the interchange coming back down oh it's it's just the carriageway is just worn away right anyway never mind that we're out on the bike and sadly Lynn's not with me as I said so I've got Lynn in front of me there riding along with me and um, and we're we're filming using the contour plus two, and uh, excellent quality as usual. Now this this year, uh, the videos are going to be slightly slightly different. We're going to try to introduce uh, more camera angles, and what uh, what I've done recently. Uh, probably against uh, 
Lynn's best wishes and spending money again. Um, the 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 big disadvantage of having the uh, camera on top of the helmet like it is now is that at certain times of the year, i.e. summertime, autumn time, where insects are quite prevalent and uh, of course if you go anywhere near water which we do a lot of obviously in the Lake District and uh, and when we go up into Scotland there are an awful lot of midges and as anyone who does vlogging knows a single midge as tiny as it is on the lens if it's right in the middle can look like you know can look like a big blue bottle on the lens it really is um, quite quite you know it, it, it ruins the video really um, so I was thinking of a of an alternative a way around it and although I've not been a fan of the GoPro camera because of, of the application that, that I use, i.e. on top of the helmet, I didn't want to look like a Teletubby. And anyone who knows Teletubbies will know exactly what I mean. And also, the GoPro is like a camera. It's the sh same shape as a as a camera, but much, much smaller and lighter. And, and I can imagine a GoPro on top of a helmet at high speed like this being quite um, you know the hit with the wind would hit it and uh, it, it would it surely would you'd feel it on your head you know your, your neck your neck muscles would, would surely get um, um, sore after many many miles of that I don't know and, it, and I said oh suppose it will do the camera any good it, you know put an immense amount of pressure on the mount um, anyway so I thought there must be a way around this. I don't particularly like cameras fitted to the bike. Done that. I mean, in the early days of uh, of of me sort of videoing rides, I tried all sorts. You know, I tried a, a camcorder, a mini DV camcorder on the um, on a RAM um, fitting, which. You know, it worked. It was looking through a screen of a SD1300 Pan European, and then um, Goldwing. But when we had the Pan, um, it, you know, as I said, it worked. But the only problem were was was the fact that, apart from the fact that. You know, you could hear the noise, and and then it it might as well being fitted to a car. Um, yeah, you could see the bike leaning over, but you didn't get the feeling that that I'm sure you'll agree that you get now looking at this video. You know, you're basically, you know, you, you you're watching this, um, and and you're really. If, especially if you're watching it on a TV screen, you're really riding the bike, aren't you? You know, if you can imagine, any, especially anyone who's ridden, who can't ride now, you're basically sat on the bike, riding along. And I hope that's the experience that you have, because that's the idea of it. Whereas if the camera, a video camera, is fitted to the bike, not only do you get um, more vibration, I think it, it just you don't get the sense of being on the bike now one of my uh, ideas that didn't work but we've used the camcorder quite a few times for other uses since so it wasn't a complete white elephant um, I suddenly hit on the idea, rather than using a, a, a 60 minute tape on standard play, I, mean, I didn't record in long play, but standard play, I mean it's standard play, you know, it's how old fashioned is that? 
on mini dv which were e excellent videotapes i mean i've got all my tapes i've got a mini dv camcorder um so I, you know anytime i want to upload anything like that's on there to youtube i've got the original raw files so that's that's good um but i hit on the idea of buying a camcorder with a hard disk drive built in and i bought a sony i like sony so all our well we had two camcorders at the time because we, we've done a few weddings in our time uh, and you know they are very very stressful absolutely stressful do you will of course you only get one take and if you get that wrong well you've got two disappointed people on your on your hands anyway fortunately the ones that we did everybody was happy so so as i said i like i like keeping continuity for the sake of power packs and things like that batteries so we got this camcorder this hard disk drive i think it's an sr50 sony and uh, i can't remember its size at hard disk probably about 30 gigabytes i think yeah it's 30. so in camcorder terms that's quite large and plenty large you know for doing doing motorcycle videos and i thought great you know don't need to worry about changing tapes especially when you're on a on a club ride and uh, where you know it's not really popular to request that you pull in and change your tape um from the other riders so i thought great cracked it sadly um no matter where i fitted this camcorder on a i bought a um a, a mount three suction cups it's called my sticky pod it's actually a, a trade name is that my sticky pod and it basically it's an aluminium uh, triangular shaped plate with three suction cups probably about I don't know a couple of inches diameter with a, a ram ball on the other side and even that fitted to the uh, top box to the front of the screen with the camcorder on the camcorder would at certain speed just automatically shut down or stop recording because uh, uh, the safety feature for the hard drive i mean and uh, you know this is quite a few years ago probably about i don't know nine years ago something like that so i've learned a lot in that time about uh, what works and what doesn't work and it just didn't work so you could knock the or switch the uh, safety um, sensor off but of course you risk damaging your hard drive then so it's just not worth it so i was so disappointed and and even even though it weren't necessarily road vibration i think the sonic vibration from just going through the air uh, was enough to um, to shut it down so that didn't work the best uh, method uh, fitted to the bike was when we had the Goldwing I bought a, a bullet cam and a PVR that went in the Goldwing's top box underneath the there's like a recess isn't there for a cd changer i think it's it was for this was for a gl 1800 and uh, of course wired it right from front to back and uh, powered it at the front and uh, there was a power for the pvr at the back and apart from having to remove the bullet cam each time you parked up for security reasons um that that worked i mean i used the my stick my sticky pod as it seemed the uh the obvious choice to uh, the mount to mount it on the Goldwing on the screen like i've done with the um hard disk drive camcorder but 
again that as I said that didn't work too heavy especially if you got the uh, the long life battery on it you know it was weighed a bloody ton um, <laughs> can't believe it's 10 years since uh, I was trying it on my helmet and uh, when you think how small cameras are now uh, compared to that it's amazing so but uh, one of the uh, one of the nicknames that uh, the Goldwing had uh, from a member of the uh, Northern Pan Riders uh, who will remain nameless uh, he, he nicknamed the uh, the, the Goldwing as, as a Dalek because of the uh, the bullet cam on the screen resembled uh, a Dalek and perhaps you can see that in this uh, photograph here there you are a Doctor Who Dalek exterminate so maybe so with a bit of imagination but anyway uh, as I said, the uh, it worked and the the quality was superb. Uh, occasionally, the uh, PVR would shut down. I think I think it was down to perhaps heat, uh, but quality was was wonderful. Uh, but as I said, you know, apart from when the bike was leaning over there was no image of the bike of course he just saw the road a, a, a good view of it um but nothing like this i mean it, this is so much better um it's 10 years of evolution on the uh on the videoing so i'd like to think that i was some kind of um you know trailblazer um sort of with the uh, with the club as far as videoing I don't think anybody else were doing it at, at that time um, people soon followed with, uh, with with cameras attached to the bikes uh, but I think I was the uh, the one that started it off uh, if I'm wrong I'll hold my hand up and if I am wrong tell me uh, if anybody are they connect, you know connected to the uh, northern pan riders who's watching this but uh, yeah we're great for the first time we could actually record a ride and you know look where we've been i'm sure people where we've been so great so well we're coming uh, to the end of this part this is the uh Lan actually called lancaster services but the uh, the original name was is Fortin, Fortin Services, and uh, the tower in front there that's a bit of an icon. As I said, I've explained on a previous video uh, that that tower always told me when we were going on holiday when I was a child in the uh, in the late sixties, early seventies up to about nineteen seventy two three. Um, when we saw that tower, we knew that we were almost there. Junction 35, which is Carnforth. So this is like just before 33. Now, of course, my dad's car at that time, top speed probably around about 50, 50 55. So it, it took a long time to get there. And everything took a long time when you were a child, doesn't it? Right, thanks for watching. See you on the next part. Bye for now.